Support Australia's longest-running independent motorsport show. Go to the In Pit Lane Patreon page and keep In Pit Lane on the air by contributing as little as $5 per month. That's less than one copy of a magazine, only $1.25 per week. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash In Pit Lane and support independent Australian media. Well, congratulations. Tricky conditions out there. Yeah, look, it really, the whole weekend's been changing conditions and, you know, whether you stayed on wets or went for slicks, it was, uh, you know, a difficult decision. We, everybody stayed on wets, which I think if we went to slicks, we might have actually had a chance of winning that race, but got the weekend, so happy with that. So when does that put you in the championship now? Yeah, so just behind Steve now. I was second coming in with 101 points off Steve. I think I'm 48 or something like that off him. Um, so, yeah, we, we really needed that second win to close the gap right up. But uh, no, Steve's, um, Steve's there leading. Uh, but Wakefield Park, there's one round to go. There's another 220 points on offer, and there's only 50-odd you know, yeah, points yeah, in, the, in, the, in the game. Very different circuit from here, obviously, Wakefield Park. Yeah. How does it suit, suit you? Yeah, look, I don't know which car it will suit. Obviously, we, when we are at um, Queensland, the Lamborghinis were just un untouchable here the Audis were untouchable Wakefield Park's going to be really interesting you know um, a couple of boys said they're going to pull out their old Porsches and that might actually be the right car that was probably the right car to have today <laughs> yeah oh, look I think uh, the Audi today was you know they're just beautiful um, you know the the Melbourne Performance Centre Squirk, Squirk sponsored Audi R8 just was faultless the whole weekend uh, our strategy calls were pretty well right the whole time um, and that just you know put us on top of the time treats pretty well most of the weekend uh, and ended with a win Another impressive turnout of cars this weekend in this particular series with the changes that have been uh, suggested for next year in terms of uh, involvement of V8 supercars. Do you know where that leaves this particular series? This yeah, race? well, the trophy series is going to be part of the V8 supercar takeover. Um, you know, there's talk of us being in a couple of V8 supercar rounds, but to be honest with you, I think we're all pretty happy. You know, the Shannon's Nationals is just a great feeling. It's a great round. You know, you're you're out there in, you know, you've got your own pit box. Uh, you're not out the back. You know, when you're with the V8, you end up, you know, out in the paddock. You've got, uh, you know, you're on at 7.40 in the morning. You know, we feel a bit uh, a bit special as the main game here on, on these Shannon's rounds, and I think hopefully they'll stay with it. Do you think that's a danger for the main game as well in terms of uh, being marginalised and being in that position where they're starting at all ungodly hours of the morning, where you have had more control over your, your destiny as a, as a category? Yeah, look, you know, being part of the V8 show is pretty good because it's the main game and, uh, you know, you certainly get a bit more coverage and, uh, you know, a few more spectators, but if you're on at 8.20 in the morning, you know, you're not really getting the spectators and you're not really getting the exposure that you need as a top team. Um, so, I, I, you know, I think the trade-off's going to be interesting and right. not sure it's the right move, but, uh, you know, time will tell that. Is that something that you guys, as the competitors and the people who are you know, responsible, really, for this series, is that something you've got any input into at all? Yeah, we, they, they've, they spoke to us and uh, they gave us a bit of a heads up uh, not uh, on Tuesday um, as to what's going on. And most of the teams are pretty happy with it because I think it, something's got to happen with GT. It sort of peaked last year big time. This year it fell off a little bit, not trophy series, I mean this series has been stronger all year. Uh, it's been great close racing, good competition, but you know we are the second, the second tier. Um, we're happy to be the second tier, we're having a great time.